probably rather hear this guy talk than me. He had an outstanding game, obviously. Uh, super proud of our team. I thought we competed throughout. Uh, was really proud of them after the half. Uh, you know, in the second half, we only gave up, I want to say, three offensive rebounds. We only had three turnovers. I thought our decision making was much better on the offensive end. It helps that this guy, you know, kind of went crazy and made a bunch of shots, so he's drawing a ton of attention. Um, but I thought we really sprayed the ball and got some open shots in the second half, and our guys fought and competed throughout. So very proud of our guys. Credit to Kentucky. Their size killed us, obviously. They were all over the offensive rebounds. I want to say they had 18. And then, you know, another phenomenal stat they had is the, from the free throw line. I want to say they shot 83% from the free throw line. So we fouled them a ton. Um, their size got the, uh, a hold of us, um, and they were able to pull the game out. And, Obviously, Coach Calipari does a tremendous job, and their guys uh, pulled it out in the end. So, um, credit to Kentucky. Bubba, just how hot were you? I knew you wanted to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw saw a few go in early, and uh, my teammates kept finding me the ball in the right spots, and I was able to knock them down. Is that all? I mean, it seemed a little bit more than just, you know, I, mean, I was in a groove, and uh, it's kind of, I'm a, kind of a rhythm suited shooter, so once, uh, like once I hit a couple, I see them go in, and everyone feels good from there. I think there was one shot that you hit, and it looked like Claudia Green, you were just both kind of laughing coming back down the court. Do you remember that? What were you all kind of saying to each other there? He was saying, uh, when I released it, he said, it was, there's no way that was going in. And then once it went in, like, he kind of laughed it off, and he tapped the shell in the line. Bubba, was there one where you looked like you were falling down as you shot it, uh, up, kind of out by the top of the key? Oh, uh, is that the same one? The yeah, same that's one. the one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I felt good coming off my hands, so I tried to draw the foul at the same time. It wasn't, I didn't get it, but it felt it went down. Bubba, what was it like to have that kind of game in an arena like this one? Uh, it's big. Uh, we all dream of playing in big arenas like this. I'm just blessed to be able to have the opportunity. My coach have the faith in me to shoot the ball. And it's, I mean, it's a blessing. Coach, I, I don't know if helpless is the right word, but what, it's like, what is it like to sit there when the other team has such a size advantage and they're able? I mean, what buttons can you push? Yeah, um, it, it was it's tough, you know, because they do have such a size advantage, and they used it. They were smart. They threw the ball down low, uh, scored some easy buckets, uh, particularly in the second half, but, you know, pounded us on the board. So I thought there was a couple 50-50 balls, if you will, in the first half where telling our guys, if it hits our hands, I don't know what to tell you, but we have to have it. Now, certainly Coach Calipari is telling them the same thing, but... If the ball's down in our reach, we got to get after it. And I thought we did a better job of that in the second half. Um, and then, you know, again, offensively, just to move the ball, the credit to this guy, because he had the hot hand, and he certainly took some shots. Uh, a couple where it's like, whoa, 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 okay, it went in, you know, one of those deals. Um, but he also sprayed the ball. He, he, two guys got on him, and he was able to pitch it, and we were able to get a couple open shots for other guys because he drew so much attention. So I thought he played a great all-around game. Bob, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm wondering what you were looking at with your defender to try to get the clue of, okay, I can get this shot off. Um, it's like any other shot. If I'm uh, coming down, my feet set, and I've uh, got a target at the rim, just release it. I hope it go down. Is your shot naturally that high arcing, or did you have to adjust just because of the size of Kentucky's defenders? No, I've been shooting like that for a while. Some people call it a rainbow shot, but uh, I practice that each and every day. So it's, it's kind of my form now. Bubba, could you hear your mom in the arena by chance? I think she might have been the loudest person out there. I actually did. I didn't see him uh, when they were sitting before the game. And it was one uh, at the free throw line. I just heard her yelling, and I was like, oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, I definitely heard her. Thank you much. Good luck.